I was so the, the, whole all, the whole way, which galloped out, galloped out strong, then was getting aggravated with me because I had to pull them up. Yeah, but as a, at a comfortable pace, just striding out really good. Worked great. That Ferrari came out in him yeah, today. And you said he likes the mountains. Every day when I uh, come out here, he stops and he looks at them. And then he'll go a little bit and then he stops and he looks again. So he's been enjoying himself here. Nothing, knock on wood, nothing has bothered this horse since we've been here. He's adapted well to, to all the surroundings, all the horses out here. So we just have another week and hopefully we're the one in the winter circle. How fast did it feel like he was going? Is it just impossible to say? Well, I, no, but I mean, I knew because I'm timing, I'm trying to clock in my head too. I knew I was going pretty good, but he's so strong underneath you and he has such a long stride. So you, you kind of just, you don't want to take that away from a horse either. So as long as he's going comfortable at a quick speed, I don't mind and I don't think they'll mind either. It wasn't blowing a bit. I was blowing, I think I was blowing more than he was. Yeah, we didn't want to go in setting a time because times are totally different with each horse. Uh, how, how much effort they have to put in to do it. I just wanted her to go along comfortable and easy and, and that's what he did. I mean, he went fast, but he didn't just watch until he's well within himself doing it and it doesn't take anything out of him. You know, he had a couple nice works at Churchill and this one was designed to do what? I well, shortened him back up. Normally I'd go five eighths with him, but I wanted him to go, I didn't want him to go as fast as he, 50 eighths or he's done two in a row. So we just went a half leg gallop out to five eighths and kind of trick him a little bit to, to slow it down to a minute and change on the gallop out. And, but he did everything right. And he's a hard horse to train because he does things so easy. It's, you don't know if you're doing enough because he, it's just nothing, it doesn't take anything out of him to do it. Now Tammy thought when you were talking to her her first time after the work that you seemed a little Somber, and it, because everything's going so good with this horse, that it's that now, makes it nervous. The stress nervous. level has just gone through the roof. I'll tell you the truth, because I don't, I don't know. I've never come into a Breeders' Cup race with so much confidence in a horse, and, and it's a little different feeling. He's just everything's gone so well. He, he's just been push button, and it's such a pleasure to be around. With the horses that you know, you got Maxfield, you've got Eight Rings. You've got the horse that was second to you, Scabbard in the Iroquois. Sure looks like a good bunch of two-year-olds this year. You look at all the time figures and all the races they've run, everybody, it's a good group. I mean, we're fortunate to have one of the one of the best of the group, but there's top to bottom, this is a good field of horses. When I asked you last week after he worked about, you know, the fact that you're a Louisville boy, Churchill Downs is his home track, and the race next, you know, the first Saturday of May, and he said, as much as you don't want to win it, you're... You know, you're trying not to, you have to try to not yeah, think about it? Yeah, try to not think about it. I don't know. I've gotten in the Derby a lot of different ways. Last second, you know, getting a second to Bluegrass or, or gotten our points early and knew we were going to get in. It's always different. And, uh, yeah, you, you, after you get past next Friday, we'll start thinking about the first Saturday of May and how to get there. Now, compare them to not this time. It's the same owner, so we can compare them. He came in with a very similar path to this race. Just try to think back to when um, you had not this time and He's a very a similar horse. They're very similar types of horses. Not this time had the same aura about him of, of greatness and you could tell. And he's, his babies have it. It's, it looks like he's going to be a top shire but, but he got injured in the race and we never got to see the, the best of him I don't think. I think he'd even been better three year old. This coach coming into it the same way and He's even doing things not this time. Couldn't do it. Working 46s and looking like he's galloping. Do you, do you almost feel like there's a sense of this is the ultimate do-over for not this time? It is an ultimate do-over. Yes, it is. It is. And, you know, a two -year, to train a two-year-old champion would be special for anybody. It's something I'd always like to have done. And I only had one champion in my life, and Kitten's Joy. And, you know, we're seven days away from settling who's two-year-old champion, and we feel pretty good about our position.